All right, friends. Here it is. Time for another episode of Finn McKenty Talks About New Metal because you people just never, ever, ever, ever get sick of hearing about new metal. So uh, as long as you people keep clicking, I'll keep talking. This time we will be reacting to teens reacting to Limp Biscuit. I'm excited about this one because if you remember last time when they were talking about Slipknot, it was top tier stuff. Every new metal boomer and believe it or not, you know, the new metal people, you're boomers now. It's a fact. You guys are boomers and not because of your age, because boomer is a state of mind. All the new metal boomers out there so angry at the teenagers because they didn't like Slipknot enough. Uh, I forget his name, Luis, I think, when he was like, all I hear is screaming. He was my favorite. I hope Luis is back. I can't wait to hear what Luis has to say. I think that's his name. What he has to say about Fred Durst <laughs> and his screaming. <laughs> I'm excited to hear it. Let's see what teens have to say about Limp Biscuit. Breaking news. I have new merch. I've got this new one designed by my good friend, Michael Shantz. It says, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. And the listen to new metal shirt, as well as all my other designs. And you can check all of those out at the link in the description of this video. What time is it? You can't wear a suit and a bow tie and scream at people. You can't wear a suit and a bow tie and scream at people. Well, Fred Durst just proved you wrong, sister. It's his way or the highway. It makes me feel something I've never felt before. <laughs> what do you think Cringe. when I say limp biscuit? A biscuit with a lint on I hope he doesn't explain to them what a limp biscuit actually is. Uh, because the actual meaning of Limp Biscuit is very gross. I don't want to explain it because I don't want to get TOS'd, but I like Lint Biscuit better. I like that. Lint Biscuit. Like a cracker? <laughs> Maybe an artist or band name? There you mm. go, but you've never heard of them. Gavin. No. Look at Gavin's beautiful hair and cool TikTok earrings. We're going to do a deep dive into the late 90s, early 2000s Ooh. new metal phenomenon. Ooh, metal. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, because I don't listen to it a lot, but I like it. It makes me, it, like, it, it brings out the confidence in me. I will okay. probably know that. Me after too, this sister. Video, I'll become a fan. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is. Everybody Gavin's sucks. feeling it. Really is this like a well known band? It was. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Gavin, right off the bat with the heat. Is this a well-known band? I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. If you guys need some help writing these lines to rage bait the rock boomers, I mean, whoever you have writing this stuff is good, but I'm going to say I've been rage baiting these people for over a decade now. If you need some help, I'm here, but you guys, Gavin's on it. Uh, oh, is that Snoop Dogg? Why are oh. they screaming at me? Oh my God. Why are they screaming at I me? Like good this. question. <laughs> I like it. That Eminem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is very, very hardcore. Very, it, it is. It is very hardcore. It's very punk rock. You're right. Very hardcore punk rock. I like Gavin. So far, Gavin's in the lead. Gavin's rage bait comments so far, the best. Yeah, get it, girl. <laughs> oh, this is dope. Oh my God. It feels like they're on something. <laughs> That's interesting. I like it. I'm not opposed to it. He's not opposed to it. Okay, good to know. She is feeling it. She feels the type of way about break stuff. Who doesn't? Fred Durst just he he just brings that dopeness on the mic. This is how all of us felt when we heard break stuff for the first time. I can dab you up right now. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Bro. There it is. She's into it. That I just watch right now. You know he's a bad boy because his hat's backwards. <laughs> I've seen this show. You know he's a bad boy because his hat's on backwards. I like it. Strong. That's how you can tell. That you might not be everyone's cup of tea, mm -hmm. but you're someone's cup of tea, just not me. That's some aggressive music. Like that's the type of music you listen to before you're about to go to the skate park. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Gavin, another good one. That's the type of music you listen to before you go to the skate park, before you do a backside kick flip 720 nolly tail slide in your face. Right, Gavin? My God, man. Gavin's she my man it. so far. That's an understatement. I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. Now it's their cover of Faith. Please don't. I'm good. No, thank you. 
No, he says, ew, shows Fred signing the girl's booby, and he's like, ew, no, thank you. No, uh-uh, not interested. You and me both. Why don't you sign her foot, Fred? Can we all agree a foot is so much sexier than a boob? Who wants to look at a boob? No, thank you. <laughs> I still don't like it, but it's better. I don't know why he sings like that, but I kind of like it. That's what we all okay. wonder too. Why does he sing like that? Okay. That's what we all wanted to know. <laughs> Here's the screamo part. See, this is what they should have said. The fact that we're two and a half minutes into this and nobody has called Limp Biscuit screamo yet, that's a miss. Come on. Come on, kids. Do better. Call it screamo. How do people like this? I love hardcore screamo. I think it's making my whole brain go limp, though. <laughs> How do they do this anymore, man? That's this right. This thing, like... Why don't they make hardcore like screamo like, like this anymore? That gives me goosebumps. Makes me feel some sort of way. That was a lot better than the than the first one, in my okay. opinion. I like okay. that. I like that a lot more. This isn't my type of music, but uh, I do like this type of music. Like, I would go to a, a concert, probably. And, like, they're literally on crack. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> There's something wrong with these people. You can't just do this. You can't play that kind of hardcore screamo unless you're on crack. It sounded like he was singing in cursive. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like he was singing in cursive. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> I like it. I'm getting a, I'm getting a good feel for him. Okay. I think it's cool. Gavin's catching right. a vibe. I would definitely like to be a teenager in that in that era. I love how you ran. Trust me, it wasn't that great. <laughs> like, okay, I will get up. I would turn this off so quickly in my car. <laughs> Come on, man. Get back. Okay. Nookie is next. I think I used to the fact that he's going to scream in every one of them. This is actually my favorite Limp Biscuit song. It's the first Limp Biscuit song I heard, I think. I actually do like this song. Oh, yeah. look at that. She's getting no her hand movements on. Good. What does Nookie mean? Stick it on my wear? <laughs> he is offended, and I don't blame him. Who needs Fred Durst telling you to put things in your booty hole? Excuse me, Fred. If I want to put something in my booty hole, I will do it on my own terms. I don't need you telling me what to put where and when and why. That's enough, okay? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this, Jared. I don't... Oh, <laughs> oh my God! She's got a great this career one. as a reactor. This, a little, this one might be a little too harsh for me. I like the beginning of them. <laughs> Gavin like nice says, this might be a little too harsh for me. And then it just goes. I like how all of their videos have a ton of people. My ears too much hardcore screamo in right this. Now. Very interesting wordplay. <laughs> Very interesting wordplay. I wasn't sure where to stick it up. They kept on yelling during the <laughs> I wasn't sure where to stick it up. They kept on yelling. You know, I just wish he would be more specific. He said, stick it up your uh, stick it up your uh. He, he never told me. I was waiting. I've, I've got it here. I'm ready to stick it. And it's like, well, are you going to tell me or not? Jeez, Fred, way to blue ball me. Word. I was like... <laughs> Where? Oh, shiver me timbers. It's my question. I love white shirts and like jeans. I feel oh. like they work really well. Okay. And a lot of the girls were wearing that, so that was cool. Let's see if your mom Call remembers who's Limp Call Biscuit. mom and ask hey, her about Limp Biscuit. I just want Biscuit. to let you know, I love Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Considering how, how loud most concerts are, I feel like that you might need a hearing aid after the concert there. It's true, you might. <laughs> see look even this poor girl's mom she says they about to kill me on what i don't know again see how everyone lives in fear of these gatekeepers it's a sad world we live in even her mom is afraid of being judged by metal nerds is that ben stiller it is do me a favor watch it this looks like a movie scene don't scratch it keep on rolling baby you know what time it is what time is it i feel like he's see, like the cool He's got a lot. I don't remember this guy's name. I'll, I'll pretend his name is Luis, too. Although it's not. He, he's got the questions. Just like me. What time is it, Fred? Come on. Quit beating around the bush. What time is it? I feel like he's like the cool dad that every girl wants. Like, if he was a dad, he'd be the coolest dad ever. Fred Durst is the cool dad. See, look at that. He's got his urban arm movements. He knows. <laughs> That's what he is, bro. He is seasoned with extra seasonings on. Okay. I would like to be seasoned. Okay. 
This is cool. This is cool. I like that one. This one's not as there hardcore screamo. Hands up. Hey, wait. Hands up, people. Hands up. The it's Urban rolling, Arm Movements, rolling, you see? Rolling, 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 rolling. How can you listen to Limp Bizkit and not definitely played this song before. This sounds really not familiar. engage in arm movements? I'm scared to get too close to him. I understand why this is popular. Okay, boom, we got it. See, One even four. she's coming around. Yes. At first, she didn't like it. She she was a little scared. She's a little uptight. But all it took was a little bit more exposure to Fred Durst. And she's like, you know what? I get it now. Now I understand. Me like hating on it, and I'm like, oh, I like this one. It was a good one. Now she I knows. Like the... You couldn't help. I saw it. You were rolling. The arm movements were all rolling. What do you think we're rolling. I'm we're all rolling. Kid, bro. What the hell? I'm in neutral. I'm very iffy on rock music. Like, I either like it or I don't. Are you a BTS mm. fan? Yeah. Watch this. Me too. They did not actually dance to this. They look so Is good. Is that real? Is that real? Yeah, this is a totally danceable song. Oh my goodness. It can't be real. Now you're mixing more into it. Everything's coming together. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take it. Favorite thing so far was the dance. I'm not going to lie. I love Limp Bizkit. Oh, another teen lost to new metal. I thought we were out of this, but now look, we've poisoned the minds of the next generation with new metal. Sad to see, but it is what it is. I like it. You have no choice. When you listen to new metal, Limp Biscuit in particular, you have no choice but to move your hands. No choice. You, 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 can't, you can't help it. The hand movements just come. Let me know if you know what it is based on the sample of the song that you're listening to. Call your dad and ask if he knows. Is this like a 007? Ooh, but the American version. Uh, are they secret agents? Mm-hmm. Oh, they are secret agents. Yes. Oh, is this MacGyver? <laughs> <laughs> Fred Durst is a CIA plant. You heard it first here, people. Mission Impossible. Yeah, buddy. Mission Impossible? Yeah. It's... Mission Impossible. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> they got okay, it. Okay, here we come in with the hard rock. <laughs> the hard rock. It gives you a thrill every song, man. It's just... Have you liked every She's song? She's thrilled. So yes. I don't like it when they scream as much. So it's nice. That was really cool. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Boom. That was awesome. Maybe I will turn into a, <laughs> is it heavy metal? Uh, new metal. New metal. New metal. Hardcore Screamo. That's like, what it is. <laughs> She's been converted. She is now a fan of Hardcore Screamo. We converted another one, people. The hook at the end of this. You won't see anybody, but you'll hear it. Ah! It's giving very Austin Powers, I feel. <laughs> For being so old, the editing is cool. He mentioned the video. I believe that Fred Durst directed most, if not all, of their videos. Fred Durst is actually a legitimately underrated director. He makes good videos. Ooh, I, I feel like voice. Gavin doesn't MacGyver. look convinced. <laughs> is it, is More it MacGyver. Pharrell? Yes! Is know? it really? Yeah! Pharrell! I actually didn't know that. was. I, I did not know that was Pharrell. Did not know that. I think the video and the song style is very cool. I think seeing it being so old, but still being so cool is like super interesting to me. <laughs> That's some good rage right there. Seeing it be so old, but so cool is interesting to me. Some good rage bait there. Gavin, so far, I would say Gavin has the best rage bait of this one. Who sings that? I literally have no clue. <laughs> that voice is Pharrell Williams. Shut up. The hat guy. The hat guy. The hat guy. <laughs> so we like Pharrell. I'm going to start crying. Why? Oh, my God. <laughs> she was moved to tears by Limp Biscuit. She's going to start crying. Yeah, this is Gavin from Dance Gavin Dance. It's true. If you guys ever wondered, who is Gavin and why is he dancing? This is him. This is the guy. I feel like the other guy. Who's the other guy that does the, actual, the solos? Yeah. Uh, Fred Durst. Yeah, he was in the main character in this one <laughs> she's hey, moved like to tears better? yeah maybe are you okay no it was so good no i'm not okay oh, they're in a prison they did something uh -oh. bad okay he thinks he looks so cool in that jail cell come on he does think he looks cool in that jail cell it is why have i this sounds super familiar he seems to be doing fine in jail, honestly. Let him go! I don't know this oh, song. Whoa, they're outside of the timeline. 
<laughs> Outside of the timeline. Oh, they're so cool. I think that was sick. Ugh. I did like the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still they, getting it for they're you. They're trying to kill him. Free him. Uh, free Fred Durst, y'all. Free Fred Durst. Music video is dope. Okay. They're put to death in the video. They drown yeah. in milk. If you had to be put to death to drown in a liquid, what would be your liquid? Mm. A wine punch. Prime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gavin. Ah, damn. What, a, what an answer. They said, if you had to be drowned in any liquid, what would it be? Gavin says, Prime. Logan Paul's sports drink. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, damn. I want to adopt Gavin. I adopted Luis in the previous video. Today, I want to adopt Gavin. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go file the paperwork. I'm going to pick him up tomorrow and say, Gavin, congratulations. You have found your forever home with me. You can call me dad from now on. And then I'll just hand him a prime and say, get in. Let's roll. I don't know. Let's go rice vinegar. Gross. <laughs> I get coconut water. Oh, I love the face. You see how cool he is? <laughs> okay, I gotta give it that. So he cool. has the coolest locations for his videos. Is he like a rapper? Yeah. Singer? What is he? <laughs> Somewhere in between, right? Yeah. Wait, wait. See more hand movements. Ooh, he's angry. You listen this to Limp Biscuit, the hand I, movements I, I start. Can't you, you can't help it. I definitely heard this song. I'm still hearing it. Hey, That's right. I'm taking that Gavin from his birth like. parents. He does. Sorry. It like they would have been this back then. Okay, Sorry, like, Gavin's dad. He's mine now. About it, so they obviously. <laughs> it wasn't too harsh and like metal banging. It's not too harsh and metal banging. That's why I like Lorna Shore. They have some parts that are really harsh and metal banging, but then they have some like pretty melodic parts too. And then they go right back to the harsh metal banging and the parts that have a lot of harsh metal banging just like feel even cooler because of that. But it also wasn't too common. It was like just, it was like that perfect, like, nice. you know what I mean? Leaning into the hip hop a little bit more. <clears throat> yes, exactly. It's like a mix of hip hop and harsh metal banging. That's why it's so cool. That's what it was. Okay. This is just this more sentimental type of song. Ooh. Not as much harsh metal banging. Oh my God, I love it. He kind of looks like Eminem. He's so versatile. That's what everybody says about Fred Durst as a vocalist, right? He's so versatile. He can do anything. Mike Patton, who? Devin Townsend, who? Ariana Grande, who? Fred Durst, that's who. No. He can do it all. The man who can do everything. Bro, he has no highway limitations. On the highway. You're not hearing him. You're listening, but you're not hearing him. You that's can't right. Wear a suit and a bow tie and scream at people. You know, when I saw him in a suit and a bow tie with like the microphone from like the 50s, I was assuming like a softer song. Uh, and then he's But you got at me harsh metal now. banging. I, I don't know. It was it was kind of weak. Weak compared to the other ones. The song was cool. I agree. I still think the second song one sucks. was my favorite. I, I mean, the Faith second is, one was my favorite. It's hard to beat, man. Faith is very good. Faith is hard to beat. <laughs> I don't it kind of felt more clunky. Mm. I agree. Not their best. No. Now, not only was he right. screaming at me, Daisy was shirt guy is right. Hat <laughs> and like going like this. Now See? he's like all fancy and he's still screaming. My she way? wants the backwards hat or get out <laughs> and the arm movements. Okay, so you like Limp Biscuit? Love. Okay. Sounds like you like new metal rap rock. That's clean. Like I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, we're gonna. But uh, now I'll give you she does. After this, I was born in the wrong generation. Um, I do oh no, I oh no, she says I was born in the wrong generation. Now she's gonna start leaving YouTube comments on new metal videos talking about how all the other kids at her school listen to Jack Harlow and Migos, but she's one of the last 5% of teens who still listen to real music like Slipknot, Dry Kill Logic, and Edema. <sighs> Poor girl. Guy that had the white like paint, cause he always has something cool. He always wears something cool. I think the vibe was sick, and I think back then, if I was a teenager in this era, I think this would have been my go-to. Yeah. This music probably definitely inspired a ton of other bands. Like I know friends who do music like this. Live, laugh, love, live this. He, he has <laughs> friends that do hardcore metal screamo. Okay. Well, there it is. It seems like the teens. It seems like they like Limp Bizkit. So. There we go. Everyone loves Limp Bizkit. This is what I've been saying. From young to old, ages four to 400, everybody loves Limp Bizkit, including the teens here on uh, on React. So there we have it. It's official. The kids love Limp Bizkit.
that's the type of music you listen to before you're about to go to the skate park. 